This is Graham from .easy coming back to you guys with another video. Today we're going to be going through and showing you how to set up a redirect on your accounts with cPanel. Now cPanel gives you the option to set up what are called a 301 and a 302 redirect. Now these are coincidentally also called a permanent and a temporary redirect. Now a permanent redirect is rather nice to have on a site if you're looking to get one domain redirected to another because it is what's called search engine friendly, meaning that if you have all that SEO and search engine optimization built up already, it's going to take advantage of that, help you redirect it without getting penalized, which is very, very important, especially if you're trying to transition from one domain to another. So it is very nice to have. A temporary redirect tells the search engine that it's basically going to be doing it for a short time, so they're okay with it for a little while. Make sure you don't plan on having it out too long as they will eventually penalize you if you do keep it up. But that's when the 301, the permanent redirect comes in. So make sure you do choose accordingly. Now, what we're gonna do is show you how to set this up. There's a couple different settings of how to do this and you do have a bit of freedom in how you wanna get this to run, as well as you can set this up for whether it's just the domain itself, an add-on domain, a subdomain, whether you wanna have this go with the WW version of your domain or whether you wanna have the naked domain by itself, which is just the non-WWW version. So you do have a lot of freedom how you wanna set this up and how you wanna work on it. I'm gonna show you examples of how to set it up. It is very simple. For those of you who know what an HT access file is, this is actually what the server is using to have these run properly. You can set this up to do advanced things if you are aware of it. It's located within the public underscore HTML folder and any subdomain add-on domain will have its own corresponding folder. So you can set up a lot of fun redirects yourself if you're looking up for it. You can always, those of you who wanna look into it can always do a Google search for it as well. We're just gonna show you the tip of the iceberg here as to how to set it up the easy portion of it and you're more than welcome to go through and look it up yourself if you have questions or you run into trouble with it you can always just go back in here and reset the redirects back up to have it reset it back to what it was before so for this here you need to start off by going into your cPanel from your account for those of you who know how to do it you can get access to it by going to just your domain name slash cPanel in the address bar or you can also go through member zone under the quick reference heading by going to site admin panel. It'll be about halfway down that first list there. So once you're in the C panel, you're gonna see a screen very, very similar to what we've got here. Now you'll find this under the domain heading in the list. You'll actually see this as redirects. And when you click on this, it's gonna come to another screen for you. It's gonna ask you, first of all, what type you want. This will be a 301, a permanent, like it says here, or a temporary 302. So in this case here, we're just going to do a 301 redirect because that's generally what you're going to be looking for as it's more search engine friendly. You can see down here at the bottom, you've actually already got one set up. Just as an example of what it's going to look like afterwards, you can see this is a permanent redirect. We've set this so it redirects with the www included. And it's going here from the domain using our business template directory to one of the other business demos we set up and showed you guys earlier with one of our other videos. So it goes and redirects straight to that site. So for this one here, the first one we're gonna again set up as redirect as a temper as a permanent one. The www version here is asking you whether you want this, whether you want it to go to all public domains. If you set up all public domains, it's gonna take everything off the server and just funnel it straight over to whatever domain you choose. So you don't want to choose this one generally speaking just because it's going to go ahead and get everything over without any problems. Now, it's gonna do everything, whether you have add-on domains, subdomains, anything, so just be a little careful with that. Generally speaking, you wanna choose the actual domain name you want to choose. In this case, we're gonna go with sampledomain.net, meaning everything at sampledomain.net is gonna go across this. Now, what you wanna do is if you wanna use a specific folder, like say, for instance, down here, we use business template, you can do that here. You just type in whatever the folder name is. If you're not sure of it, you can quickly open up an FTP program or go into the file manager from cPanel as well and go find what the folder is. You type in the folder name there. Once you've got that in, you can do this bottom one, which is the redirects to, and you can choose where this is going to. So you can choose anywhere you want. Now, this does require a fully qualified domain name, meaning you do have to type in the actual HTTP colon slash portion of it. It actually gives you a message here that it does need to be included as well. So as soon as you type that in, you can see the message goes away and it's actually ready to accept it. Now we just need to type in whatever we want. In this case here, we're actually just gonna redirect it to .easy.com right now, just to give you an example. So if we type in .easy.com, 
Next, we're going to have the options of how we want to adjust this. Now, the first one here is only redirect with www. This means if someone types in www.sampledomain.net in this case, it's going to redirect that to .easy.com. If someone doesn't include the www, so just types in sampledomain.net, it's actually going to continue and still load the current site for them. So it is very important depending on how you want to treat your visitors, whether you want them to go from both www and the non-www version into a certain location, or whether you want to only have one or the other. So it is important. If you're not sure, you can always do redirect with or without, and that'll just grab everyone coming to it. If you want to have it so it's just coming to it without the www, then you can go there as well. You do have that option. Using a wildcard redirect means if someone types in something randomly or not accounted for in front of it, so something similar to like a subdomain, that's going to take them across as well. So if you're not sure or you have a lot of subdomains and you only want to set up one redirect to quickly grab them all, then using the wildcard redirect is definitely going to help you. So in this case, your general redirect is going to be the with or without. So once you've got that highlighted, you've got that all in there, you can just click on the Add button here, and it will go ahead and do it. As you can see here, it's set up, shows this line. If you see this, you know it's set up and good to go. Now, if you don't see this, you're going to see an error message. You want to just quickly use the Go Back button, just check what the error message said was wrong, and just quickly check it, adjust it, go forward. But as you can see here, it's now going and setting up a redirect. So this, what this does, as you can see below here, is it's setting our domain, so sample domain.net, to take everything that comes to the server and redirect it automatically to .easy.com. Now, say you want to remove a redirect because you set up a permanent, uh, temporary one, or say you no longer want to redirect it, it's as simple as just clicking this X button in the Remove column here. So you just click the X. It's going to make sure that you click this button to confirm it. Once you click that, Remove, it's gone. It's already been removed, and it gives you that message. You can then go back. And as we can see here, it's no longer in the list. So that's how you can very easily set up a redirect to and from. Now, a lot of people may ask what you need to set up a redirect to or why you may want to set one up. Generally speaking, this is most often used for people who have multiple extensions for a domain. So say, for instance, if we had sampledomain.com, sampledomain.org, sampledomain.biz, sampledomain.tv, and we only wanted to do one site because it can be annoying to set up all the sites, or also we don't have time to do it. So I mean, that's something we understand everyone online does as well. And that's why redirects really exist in the first place, is to help people like that set up their site. So what you'd have is, say the .com would be the main site. We'd set up the .net, we'd set up the .org, we'd set up the .biz, everything to redirect to that same site using a permanent redirect. So that way, if someone's typing in any kind of search engine keywords from the .com site, they're going to see all the other ones in the list as well. And clicking on any of them is going to bring them to that same page at the end. So then that way, you're getting everybody to your account from all the different avenues. You still have the search engine optimization kicking in for all of the domains and helping you out there. If you have a domain that you've already well established and you want to transition to, say, a new name because the company has changed its name for whatever reason, that also helps as well. You can set up that permanent redirect. It will help with all the search engine optimization that's already there working for you and help you grab all your visitors that are coming to your older site still and get them over to the newer one. And that way, they'll see the newer domain name. They'll be able to get over there as well. It'll help drive your traffic in the direction you want. So it is important to make sure that you do set up the right types of redirects. They have their benefits to setting them up. For depending on how you want to set this up as well for your account, you can see from the examples we provided, it is very beneficial. If you have any trouble setting this up, don't hesitate to do contact us. We'll help you point it out. Maybe you need to set up something particular. We can help walk you through the specifics of it. But if you have any other questions, I mean, don't hesitate to contact us back. Make sure you do check us out on Facebook as well as like our YouTube channel and subscribe to everything as well. And we'll provide you with more videos on how to do everything. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment for this video. We'll be sure to help you out as well. Mm -hmm.